Hi guys, so for those of you who actually do watch the shows that are called blogs here on the um here on the um but Sons of Buck channel, um I feel like it's been it's been a while since I've done one of those videos. It's like when I let you guys into my life and like we have like a um like a heart to heart moment. And um you know, a lot of people, like a, like a lot of my family members really want to know like what's really going on inside my head. And the scary thing is like sometimes I really don't know what's going on inside my head. It's like ever, ever since my dad died back in 2005, it's like there was like when I, when he first died, it's like they know that I miss him. As time goes on, it's like you really don't see me like grieving, you know, like going to the stage, like like you never see me actually feeling vulnerable and like kind of sad about it. But inside my head is like it's just like a lot of wonderings and like questions, you know, and um, you know, I don't really show emotions like that, but. You know, I do get sad, and that's like, I do feel, you know, depressed sometimes, but, you know, I hide it, and, you know, just get on with my life like there's nothing wrong, and just, you know, continue on about my day. But as far as the question, it leaves me wonder, like, you know, what my, what my life could have been like if he was still alive, because it's like, after he died, it's just seemed like, a part of me is gone and it's like I'm searching for it, searching for that part of me that's like still missing you know that's like gone and you know when like what like what kind of people will I be around you know like after he died I even lost some friendships with friends that that we used to be close friends that we spent every weekend with you know you know I miss those guys it seemed like when he died I stopped being a kid almost you know and it just feel like I'm missing just so much and it's hard like to this day like it's hard to deal with it you know and it's just a lot of doubts and wondering and just really wondering like how my life would have turned out if he would have still been alive you know and I feel like I've been holding in this holding this in for so long and like for those of you who watch the blog, blogs, I told you like when I do these videos, it's like, it's almost like therapy to me. So it's like y'all family, but at the same time, I feel like I can't talk to my real family about this problem when I've seen like I'm crazy, almost. So, it's like now, I don't know, it's like, there's so much going on in my head right now, and it's like hard to just separate each thought and like really in like each thought and feeling is like what am I feeling you know what it, you know it's just so much that's going on up there with trying to manage the shows and like create a brand or whatever you know it's, it's like it's really hard and it's like I don't know it's like I'm finding it hard to deal almost I don't know it's like I know I'm rambling I don't know if I'm sounding like crazy or not but it's just that I need comfort almost because I think the last words that he said to me before he died was you have to learn to get along with other people because I'm not going to be here forever I remember him saying it, it was like August it was like the end of August of 2005 he said that so then in September, he ended up going to the hospital and never came back home. And at the time I was 13, so it felt like I really never dealt with it, you know, and I feel like I still haven't dealt with it. But um, I know I'm rambling, I was trying to try not to do a video that was so long. So um, I'm just going to end it right there. And thank you guys for watching. I know this is like my first time really opening up to you guys. So I'm going to try to do it again. So thank you guys for sitting here and listening to me, you know, tell this story. 
to talk to you guys. And um, I'll see you guys next week when I host the Martin Rollins Show in the Top 10 Live. Love you guys. Bye.